Hi guys, this is Adela Garcia, eight-time fitness Olympia champion, and you guys are watching Muscle in the Morning. Stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs, the most hardcore bodybuilding supplements on the market. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Tuesday, September 23rd, 2014, and on today's show, four times strong for Wilkins, Kaltwasser and Grishina shine in Vegas, Mannion wins Joe Weider Icon Award, Jason Huss signs with Universal Nutrition, and Sean Robinson gearing up for the NPC Eastern USA. All that and much, much more only on Muscle in the Morning. Nicole Wilkins added to her iconic legacy as she became the first woman in history to capture four figure Olympia titles. The golden girl of our sport took the stage with grace, beauty, and nearly a flawless physique. And despite a strong effort from second place finisher Candace Keene, Wilkins' combination of fullness, muscularity, and beautiful lines were just too much to overcome. Although there was speculation heading into the event that rising stars Antitoni, Candace Lewis, and Latoria Watts might prove to be major players in this year's event, the one-two punch of Wilkins and Keene has cemented their place atop the figure world, certainly for the next calendar year. History was made in the world of fitness and bikini this past weekend. Ashley Kaltwasser became the first competitor to win back-to-back -back Miss Bikini Olympia titles. The absolutely stunning Kaltwasser strutted onto the stage with all the confidence and swagger of a defending champion on her way to besting the field once again. And in the fitness division, Russia's Oksana Grishina became the first woman not named Adela Garcia to be named Ms. Fitness Olympia in quite some time. Grishina dazzled the crowd with another breathtaking fitness routine and the steady improvements she's made to her physique over the past two years pushed her over the top and into the winner's circle. Barring any unforeseen injuries, Grishina looks like she could be in the early stages of establishing her very own fitness dynasty, especially with the announcement of eight-time fitness Olympia champ Adela Garcia's retirement from the sport. IFBB Pro League President Jim Mannion was awarded the first annual Joe Weider Icon Award this past 50th anniversary Olympia weekend. Mannion has been an instrumental figure in the iron sport for decades and is responsible for helping to grow bodybuilding into the multinational, multi-billion dollar industry it is today. After receiving this award, the president addressed the crowd with a heartfelt speech where he thanked Joe Weider, his wife and son, and the many members of the bodybuilding world that were instrumental in helping him to get where he is today. Mannion is a true pioneer and visionary of our sport and is certainly a most well-deserved recipient of this historic award on one of bodybuilding's most historic nights. Olympia Weekend isn't just a place where action takes place on stage, because away from the pomp and circumstance, there's plenty of action to go around. IFBB Pro Jason Hutt announced over the weekend that he's become the newest athlete to sign with Universal Nutrition. Pound for height, Hutt is one of the most muscular athletes in the IFBB. However, despite the fact that he has the mass to stand next to anyone in the sport, we have yet to see him nail anything close to contest winning conditioning. Perhaps the newfound support from Universal will be enough to motivate Ha to finally dig in, do the work, and bring himself to an IFBB stage looking like the champion we all know he is. After taking nearly two full years off from the stage, NPC bodybuilder Sean Robinson is looking dangerous and showing that there's no substitute for hard work in bodybuilding. We last saw Robinson on stage at the 2012 NPC New York Metropolitan Championships where he took fifth in the heavyweight class. Since that time, he's been crafting his physique, preparing to make a strong return to the stage. Robinson says that he's been training with IFBB Pro Max Charles and has put on 10 solid pounds of muscle this year, and that he'll be displaying this on stage November 8th at the NPC Eastern USA Championships. If these early pictures are any indicator of what's to come, Robinson is going to be a force to be reckoned with come contest time. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs, the most hardcore bodybuilding supplements on the market. Check out ironmaglabs.com today 
And for full quotes and Muscle in the Morning bonus features, join Muscle in the Morning's official Facebook page. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook.